I've been doing art ever since I could hold a pencil. I've always been drawing. I'm the uh, artist and illustrator for The Garden of Sin. I had actually taken a pretty long break from doing art. Uh, I had this horrible dream, a night terror, I guess you'd say. You know, I'd wake up in my sleep and I couldn't, couldn't move at all. There was this tall, triangular, just shadowy figure, this vicious face, and I wanted to put it on paper. The shadow represents uh, everything bad. He's supposed to be that uh, lurking, guilty conscience. So what you think in your heart is bad. I had this this vision in my mind. It was just this uh, this character. It was the first drawing I did for the book, not even knowing that I was going to do, do a book yet. Somebody had commented on it, and they said it reminded them of of gluttony from the Seven Deadly Sins, and end up drawing one image of each of the Seven Deadly Sins. And I had no idea what the other ones were going to look like yet. Luckily, shortly after that, I, I ran into Megan and met her for the first time. And so we started to talk, you know, and I told him how I, I enjoyed to write. And uh, just out of the sake of conversation, I brought up how I had always, forever, you know, wanted to do a collaboration. I started writing probably around the age of 13. Visual art is something I envy. I, I can't do it. I, I don't have the pencil, eye, hand thing. Uh, and I've always wanted someone who can, whose brain is close enough to mine in that world to where you know they can express me visually and, and go in on a collaboration. And, and I just kind of threw that out there. She decided that she was gonna write a piece of poetry for each one of the, uh, the confessions or the sinners that I was drawing. And it wasn't until six months after that that we actually decided like, wow, we could we can make a book out of this. Once she started writing the poetry and I started coming up, you know, producing a little bit more art for it, realized how much further we could take this. And instead of just showing you these sinners, we can actually take you on this voyage through hell. To portray like, you know, the, the story of the suffering, you know, that, that is possible through, uh, through those lifestyles. And, uh, you know, and do it through a, uh, you know, kind of storybook verse style, uh, you know, written word with very graphic, you know, detailed uh, illustrations, kind of just touring and guide through that. There's 52 full color illustrations, and for every illustration there is uh, writing for it. It's, it's almost done kind of like a, like a children's book, but obviously meant for adults. There's, this is not meant for any children whatsoever. It's some pretty dark images. I feel for those people who are sensitive to like the feeling of nightmares and, and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, and I can see where some people have trouble facing that. But I think outside of the darkness, the grotesque and, and all those things that could frighten people away from the book, in a greater sense, it's not really a dark message. It, it's kind of trying to, in my opinion, shine a light on the darkness that exists, you know? And it, so you have to tell the story of the darkness. Basically, to, to give you an idea what the book's gonna feel like, what it's gonna look like, um, we, we used the first five images from the book, the first chapter, The Wood of the Damned, as, uh, as the shadow takes the first sinner down into hell. And with the video, we just wanted to uh, set the right moods and, and tones, show you the atmosphere that you can expect in the book. Chaotic wonderment, love, lust, and dreams, rethreading life as it falls apart at the seams. A gentle nudge from opportunity when life is bare and special moments scarce. Driven by ingenuity, stubborn to the lies, our scenic eyes brighten life, moving moments of past time, dancing lightning on a lake's moonshine. A lost sunset intertwined with the promising sunshine. Destiny calls and fate follows. Pride we swallow because time avails every time. A livery of souls blessed with a toast to the best and the worst with a fiery light just on time to save her life. Come, walk with me. I've got quite the sights for you to see. Perhaps it'll help you to understand what it is you don't believe. 
take heed in what you are privileged enough to see. Amongst the trees, souls who watered and grew their own seed. Self-absorbed with self-needs. Those who self-pleased. The damned and the sin-diseased. Embodied timelessly with terror. A world we will travel forever. And into the garden of darkness we descend. Our souls no longer flourish, only the flowers of our sins. Shadow, the shadow of sin. All right, guys, so you've just seen, uh, You've seen the first chapter through our video there. Um, so you met the shadow. You, you met your tour guide through hell here. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, now I'm, we're going to talk about what, uh, what we need from you guys to help us out here to make, this, uh, to make this all happen, make our dream come true. All right, so the entire book is now finished. All the illustrations are done. All the writing's finished. We're done with the final stages of editing. The images have been scanned, and they're all ready to print ready to go, the thing's ready to be published. But uh, we need your help. We need $9,000. And what that will allow us to do is get our first but very limited run of the book. That'll be uh, several hundred copies soft cover, a couple hundred copies hardcover for you guys. Um, it's a lot of posters. If we could, we'd like to get a little bit more from you guys to take this a little bit further. Our ultimate, ultimate stretch goal is at $35,000. And if you guys uh, donate that much, we're gonna be able to make some really, really cool things happen. We'll bring, be able to bring the entire book to life on, uh, on DVD for you guys. Uh, it'll be a really cool package with the book. It includes a DVD and CD on the other side, so you can just uh, listen to the auto track. Without that money, uh, we, we can't get the books done right now. Uh, it'll set the deadline way further back than we'd like to. We've put three years into this, guys. This is, uh, this is our child, this is our baby. Uh, we really, really want to see this happen. And uh, hopefully you do too after watching that video.